Hey guys, Laura with Road Dog Media Group coming to you from Nashville, Tennessee. We are out here for CRS 2020. It becomes such a mouthful, especially if I have to go country radio seminar. Yeah. Uh, it's a great, exciting week out here in Nashville. I am joined by the one, the only piano extraordinaire, musician extraordinaire, oh. amazing singer. I mean, I could just go on and on. Go ahead. Okay. And so, <laughs> Tim, at, hang on, let me get my notebook out. Tim Atwood, how are you? I am great, Laura. How are you doing? I'm, I'm so much better now that I'm standing here talking to you. Well, me too. You look it's, fabulous. I love your uh, I told red, you, white, I did and blue. This, I did this. Here's what I did this for. I'm going to be real honest. So, Tim's song, I'll Stand Up and Say So, which like, just makes me cry. Oh. Look, I got goosebumps even talking about it. <laughs> There's very few people I get, I get goosies with still. Oh, well, good. You and Glenn Templeton. Well, yeah, I can see why. Glenn is just fabulous. That's, I love he's him. He's Glenn. Yeah. But he, so the flag is for you and for Glenn. Yeah, because so he wears to, his bandana. He wears yeah. his bandana. Right. So I thought, you know, today is, is Tim. Today's Tim's day. This is Tim's day. And then I'll meet with Glenn later in the week and I'll probably change the shirt up or something, but I'll still wear the scarf. Yeah. Um, the song. Okay, so let's get back to the song real quick because okay. I think it's very, very poignant, especially today with everything that's going on. Well, for the past. For yes. quite a while now. Yes, yes. But I don't think you can, you can, you cannot turn on a TV, you cannot open up a newspaper, you can't do anything without hearing some argument over the flag. Right. The country. Yeah. God. Right. Ten Commandments. Right. Um, and what, what the country is based on and things like that. And then you, you go and you say, I'll, I, you're proud to, to say it and stand up for it. So how's that song been received and where did it come, come from? It's been very well received. Uh, I do find that uh, there are some people who don't agree and they will stay sitting down. Uh, but the other ones that do approve, they all stand up and cheer and they like it. Uh, I read something yesterday. I got a, a petition that I signed. Uh, they're trying to take away the servicemen have dog tags with Bible verses on them. And the ACLU is saying that that's against the law and they're not gonna allow the, the soldiers to wear Bible verses with their dog tags. And I just think that's a shame. I think I signed the mm. pe petition. <laughs> I definitely signed the petition because I believe, I believe in God. I believe he's in control of everything and that's what we need. So I guess my opinion on it would be if they, if they want it, who is who is it to take that away from exactly. them? Exactly, that's right. And and it's all you know, and the, you say people. Some people sit down, which is exactly what. And I don't typically get political because you know it can go either way. It can, yeah. Um, but I do think that we do have to stand up for the things that we truly deeply believe in. Um, God being one of those, God needing to be more involved in this country. I agree. And, it, it, well, he's here. We just, <laughs> yeah. I, I kind of said that wrong. Um, but if somebody doesn't agree with us, it's not about everybody agreeing. We, we can all have differences. That's right. We just have to be very kind in our delivery of that. Right. Um, and, and not worry about it. We just... So. Yeah. Okay, so I'm going to get off this topic because right, we're going to... We're, we're getting pretty deep. Mm, it's a great song. Go check it out. We will make sure we get the link up there because it's off the album Live in the Dream, which then you go and do Mom on there. And I have two children, one's 31-year-old daughter, and, you know, so and then I have a 21-year-old son. I love you, Jessica, but you know that me and your brother... He's still he's still mushy. <laughs> so every time I hear that song, I'm like I'm just bawling. Yeah. Thank goodness I listened to it before I had makeup on or anything. But what a great rendition of it! Thank you so much. Um, <clears throat> I do that song uh, the first time I tried to do it at six different shows. I couldn't get all the way through it. It took me. I have to take my mind somewhere else oh, yeah. just to do it because. Yeah. I mean, I, I broke down 
every time I tried to do it. I apologized to everyone, <laughs> and uh, now I, I can I can do the song, and it just it's such a relatable song, and you know, with all the the problems uh, with children, you know, uh, homeless kids and everything, but but God's got a reason for every one of these children to be here, and I just that song makes me think of my mom. And, well, uh, yeah, so. if you don't think of your mom when you hear that song, I, I don't. Uh, but I'm, well, you just really should think of your mom when you hear that that's song. That's right. Yeah, it is. It's very touching. <laughs> it is. It is. So are your, it, and that's, I read that Jeannie, Jeannie Seeley had made the comment that you are such a performer and such an artist that you can go from having people up on their feet, having a great, great time to in just clapping along, enjoying the music, to having people in tears but just switching, just just singing the song, but you just have a, such a way of your delivery and just being who you are. Yeah. And, I mean, I had to write this number down. 8,500 performances plus at the Grand Old Opry. That's a few. I mean... I, I was so blessed. <laughs> I moved to town in 1976, in August of 1976, and I worked the Opry for the first time in November of 1976. And uh, then came the house piano player. So I played with everybody every when we were there. I mean, it used to be Tuesday, Thursday, right. Friday, Saturday, Sunday. And I was there for every performance and played with some of the biggest names in country music and got to be friends with them. Uh, Roy Acuff told me one time, he said, you know, in his older years, he said, I don't mean anything to the music business, but if I did, you would have a recording contract. <laughs> and I looked at him and said, I don't care if I ever get one. The king of country music said I deserved one. I said, that's all I need to know. But, yeah, I, wow. that, that's some great years at the Opry. And, and hopefully I'll be performing on there as an artist before long is, is one of my goals. Well, I don't, I don't see how that can't happen very soon. I mean, you keep doing stuff like this then somebody needs to get you up there performing. Thank Maybe you. Maybe we need to start a petition for that. All right. I'm in. I bet. I know there's a lot of people that would sign oh, that one. Oh, you're so sweet. Thank Tim, you. where can everybody, I know timatwood.com. Right. And then you're very active on social media. And if you're not, your amazing, lovely wife, Roxanne, is. She does, you all, if nothing else, you have to follow Tim to see what Roxanne puts up about him because you get to see the whole other side of him. Like, you know, from the country music cruise and... <laughs> oh, I love the country music cruise. She does so well. I read about me. I went, I'm not a bad guy after right? all. Right? It's great the things that your wife, after all these years, can still say about you. She's very she talented. She at least makes you look that good on social media. I know she does. She's great. <laughs> Thank you so much. And Thank we'll make sure are. we get up all the, all the links to everything he's got going on, all the shows he's got coming up. Thank you so much. This has been so much Thank fun. You. and It's I enjoy always a pleasure. I know, and I love, I just love him. I love you. <laughs> oh, it's a love fest around here. It is a here. love fest. <laughs> Thanks, guys.